Welcome to Wild Reviews. I'm Simon Goodburn, and have you met my friend Gregory? You might be thinking to yourself, not another backpack review, but we're gonna keep this really short and sharp and I'm gonna show you a few of the reasons why this one's a standout compared with everything else. It's got a lot of the features that you would come to love in any high quality uh, hiking pack. It's got your gear pockets on your hip belt. It's got an adjustable sternum strap. It's got your little clip for your hydration hose. It's got everything that's you know very comfortable and, and easily adjustable. Uh, for a pack of its size, it feels comparable to some of the other um, 75 litre packs in terms of weight, um, but it is very light. Build materials feel, feel strong um, for what you would expect on a high quality pack. Um, zips are really easy to use and um, they're nice and robust. My, one of my pet peeves is zips that um, split because um, I love stuffing bags absolutely to the brim. The pack is actually designed in such a way that it actually moves intuitively with your body. So as uh, you change um, gradient or as you change you know, the surfaces that you're working on, your pack's not going to you know, be inclined to pull you over quite so much because um, your hip belt will flex, um, your shoulder straps will flex. It's like having a suspension system on your back essentially. Practically speaking, it's really easy to get into. Uh, it's got uh, two separated zips uh, on the top uh, for two compartments and then you can zip into the main compartment and it opens right up so you can get in there without having to use the rucksack style of entry which can be useful for getting to the things that you've forgotten you've left at the bottom of your pack. It's got a built-in hydration system which a lot of packs do have but this one also is removable into another little day pack. So if you were doing a long hike and then maybe you just wanted to um, put your big pack down for the day and pack some water and some snacks and go and take some photos or something like that, then you've got this uh, ingenious little day pack that you can use. On the center of the lumbar support, there's actually these little grippy panels, which is something that I've not seen yet and it stops sliding around on your back when you're wearing the thing. One side, it's got a fixed pocket. On the other side, it actually has a stowable water pocket. So you can pull the thing out, shove your water bottle in there, and if you don't want it, then you can just tuck it away again. One of the things that I always like to think about on any kind of packs like this is how much mesh is actually on the top side of the pack. And the reason for that is typically when you've got, you know, 25 kilos of gear in there, you're gonna be chucking it down on its back like this. And there's gonna be a lot of wear and tear happening on it um, at any point in time. The thing that I like about this one in particular, even though it has got this um, kind of meshy section on the top, it's quite robust and I'm not really worried about wearing through that anytime soon. Same for the base, the, the bottom is nice and thick and durable, so I know that um, that's gonna go through heaps of wear and tear without causing me any problems. Um, the last thing you want is all of the contents of your pack dropping out the bottom. They've also got a women's version of the pack, it's called the Deva. It's a 60 litre pack, it comes with all of the same features, but it's been engineered to suit a female body shape. 